David Williamson and I've been writing plays, screenplays and television now for some 40 years. I feel very fortunate to have been able to do this because I think storytelling is an ancient and much needed human tradition. I'm so glad that my Australian stories have connected with my Australian public and meant something to them and certainly something to me. And I hope to keep doing it for a long while yet because it's what I love doing. I came to this great country 30 years ago. My name is Nuria Salehi. I am a nuclear physicist, biophysicist, but I am also a humanitarian. I have used the life skills I have learned in Australia to set up programs for Afghans, both here and in Afghanistan, to acquire a higher standard of life, build rights and learning. I am proud that I can keep helping the people of my homeland. Art and the importance of it has been my life. My name is Betty Churcher. For seven years I ran the National Gallery of Australia. I've had many firsts in my life. I was the first woman to head a tertiary art institution, the first woman to head a state art gallery, and the first woman to be the director of the National Gallery. All has been in the name of bringing art to the people. My name is Bruce Foster, and I'm a specialist bone surgeon, a paediatric orthopaedic surgeon. My life and career has been dedicated to further understanding bone growth diseases that occur in children and have no known current cure. In 1991, I set up the Bone Growth Foundation, and it makes me proud that we have funded research that may help treat disorders that affect a quarter of a million young Australians. My name is George Jones. The June 2010 air crash in West Africa that killed the entire board of the Australian mining company Sundance Resources Limited resulted in me reassuming the chair of the company. It has been a moving experience since then, assisting the families affected by the tragedy. I firmly believe that those that are able should contribute back to the community and I enjoy spending time encouraging them to do so. Laurie Baimawanga from the Yanangu people of Arnhem Land. She is a symbol of inspiration and resistance for her people. Running the Crocodile Island program and by producing indigenous dictionaries for the kids of the island, she is ensuring her people and her land have a future. My name is Kieran Brown. There have been two major strands in my life, teaching in Tasmanian schools for 32 years and volunteering for St John Ambulance Australia. In St John, I've had national and state roles in first aid services, first aid training and youth development. I'm heading up a team in the Northern Territory which aims to help Indigenous youth learn first aid. Volunteer organisations like St John are making a real difference on the Australian landscape. My name is Barbara Holbro and I was a former children's court magistrate. I was involved very much in setting up free legal aid for all children in New South Wales. I have lived by a creed that every child is the responsibility of everybody. I loved my work and it was my absolute dream to be a children's magistrate. 